This is a story about our music and the way we were back in the 70s and 80s. We were the rebel generation. This is, this is in my pockets against the wall. Try to stand me, we can now get me to follow. My head is higher, I'm going to stand tall. No matter how the shape, you keep me down, me now fall. To me, Lovers Rock is, is the ingredients that's been put in by we here in the UK. This is our contribution to the recipe of reggae. It's a music, right, that speaks to the heart, the soul and the mind. It's a language. It's a way of life. It's a culture. I just love the way it makes me feel. I relax. And nothing matters. It just makes me feel good. You know? And that's why when you hear it, you say, oh, where am I there? <laughs> <laughs> if I could give the world to you. We were the first generation from the Caribbean who had gone to school here. So it was about making a mark in a way. At the time, the streets weren't safe. We were experiencing a lot of racism. Our parents really didn't understand the system and what was going on. So Love of Rock was like um, an escape for us. It was almost like a kind of coping mechanism. You'd wait for that to come on. Even man, them, even the wickedest man with the biggest car murderer, when he married lovers, he might look a girl for dance with them. It was quite scary because that, that dance is quite an intimate dance. I remember I didn't move much. Um, I was held up against the wall. I ain't going to tell you what happened, but I did jerk a lot uncontrollably <laughs> against that wall. Something happened. But you know when you actually go down like this, you go all the way down and you're feeling good about yourself because you've made it, your legs haven't knocked together, and then I look up and I realise that she hasn't come down with me. She's looking down at me like, what are you doing, you idiot? We were creating something distinctively British, right? And we were hoping one day to be as big as any other genre. A lot of people were coming from Jamaica to be a part of the English industry and seeing Dennis Brown, your Gregory Isaacs, your, your Freddie McGregor. By the 70s, um, when I was growing up as first generation uh, Jamaican, um, we had kids at school, white kids at school, that was as, as familiar with reggae as we were because their parents were into ska. My mum really loved Lovers Rock, and that's kind of what sucked me into the genre. At the moment, there's a resurgence of um, Lovers Rock, and there's actually younger performers getting into it. A lot of Japanese Lovers Rock artists. Australia, New Zealand. So it's taking hold globally. moving. I know. She is. Oh. With this music, we created our own unique genre that became known as Lovers Rock. Listen. 